Welcome your heads. Day three here from the Bronx Open. We just actually didn't know this, but what you just saw was a Yonix, a Yonix clinic that they hosted with Nick Kyrgios and Jeannie Bouchard for the kids here at NYJTL. A lot of fun, kind of cool to see them kind of interact with these kids and just give back to the community because it's fun to kind of see them interact with the fans and the kids and I thought that was pretty cool. God, it's so bright here, where do I go? Today we had a chance to sit down and talk to young French player Fiona Farrow. So I hope you guys enjoy that interview. But today we have the quarterfinals going on here in the Bronx. So stay tuned for all those matches and recaps as we move along throughout the day. Here we go, day three from the Bronx. Congratulations on your win today. Thank you. How did you first get into the game? Because your mom's Belgian, your dad's French-Italian. How did you kind of start? Uh, I have three older brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, they were playing tennis, and I always wanted to do like them when I was young, so I started playing like that, even though my two parents don't play sports at all. My really? mother, she never played any sport. Okay. And my yeah, my father, he used to play uh, soccer. Okay. But uh, not tennis. And it, your brother kind of helped you, kind of get into it. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, I played like one year with them, mm -hmm. and I uh, started to play um, competitions very quickly. Like at eight, eight years old, and I at ten years old, uh, I stopped uh, going to regular school. Oh. Wow. And I started studying at home. And the transition to kind of be a pro is at 10 years old right yeah <laughs> yeah it started really young yeah yeah and you were the French champion f three years I think uh, 13 yeah. 15 and 18 yeah, right yeah how much pressure was that to kind of have as a national champion yeah I think uh, coming into my first French opens I had like uh, four or five wild cards so wow. yeah I could feel that pressure in my first French opens but uh, now I think I, I uh, manage it better. Mm -hmm. uh, but also now maybe it's easier because uh, I'm in the top hundred, so mm -hmm. it's like a little bit like I I, am, I made it. Like, yeah. Uh, but uh, you're still yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, it, it was kind of difficult. Yeah. And you won your first title this year, and you said that pressure kind of helps you with that. How would you say? In what way does pressure help you, kind of, to play better? Mm, I I don't understand. Like Sorry. when you have a lot of pressure, like yeah. you said, does that help you play better as a uh, in tennis? Not really, but I I try not to focus on that. Okay. To be honest, I just uh, try to think point by point and mm. yeah, to play uh, shot by shot and not thinking about what's going to happen, but mm -hmm. just stay in the moment. So. How would you, what would be a goal by the end of the year? Because you've won your WTA title, you're in the top 100. Mm -hmm. What's the next goal for you moving forward? Yeah, I try not to set uh, a lot of uh, ranking goals because oh, wow. uh, the last years I, I put a lot of pressure on me uh, mm -hmm. by doing that. And uh, okay. since last year, I try not doing that anymore. I also have a new coach okay. and uh, he told me you don't have to focus on things like that, but just improving your game and it will come all together. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I, I will try to be in top 50. It's, it's a goal, but uh, I try not, not to think about this uh, every day. Okay. And my last question for you would be, with so many nationalities behind you, what made you pick French? Uh, I grew up in France. Uh, mm -hmm. I was born in Belgium, but I only stayed one year there. Okay. So, yeah, I live in France since uh, practically I was born. So... <laughs> I feel French and uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, thank you. Thank
That's our last day from the Bronx. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog and that interview with Fiona Farrow. She's a really nice girl and I think she's gonna do a lot on the WTA tour soon. So stay tuned for her later in the future. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a big like on this video as well as making sure you're subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis. We are going on vacation for a little bit soon, but we'll be back next week. Hopefully we'll be going to the US Open, but if you wanna follow us for more behind the scenes content, check out all the links in the description for our social media, as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks guys. Thank you.